Got a crazy snowstorm here in Portland, and then an ice storm. So one of our chains broke. Ah! We're Brad and Shyla. Over the past six months, we have been self-converting our van into our tiny home on wheels. Join us as we explore our own backyard and try things we never have before. I've never lived in snow. Welcome to Trippin' with Brad and Shyla. There's a lot of snow on the roof of the van. So we need to go clear it off of our solar panel and our fans. So we gotta go do that right now. We don't have a ladder, so Brad's just gonna toss me on the roof. This is our weapon of choice right now, because that's all we got. We're not prepared. I think it's still like 25 degrees. It's actually gotten colder. As you can tell, we're pretty bundled up, but it's not quite enough. It's, uh, it's quite the winter storm here in Portland. Actually still, still getting solar, which is really nice. I've been pretty fascinated with this whole system and how it works. Is this what people do when they live in the snow? I've never lived in snow. I go to visit the snow. Let's get back inside and warm up for a minute before we have to put these chains on. Oh, I kind of want to walk over there. Walk over there. Put the chains on. <laughs> okay. So we just got these chains and we're about to put them on for the first time. So we're going to see how this goes. Oh, thank goodness. It was like, you're wa you walked here? It's like, yeah. No chains. Check. Let's go test these bad boys out. It's 10 p.m. Just woke up from work, and you know what time it is. Snow and ice removal. Oh, look at this. Just got off work and uh, bringing some bringing some coffee to Shyla because this is where she slept last night. I think she's alive in there. Look at all these icicles. Good morning. Good morning. Glad to see you survived the night. Oh, barely. Oh, thank you. Nice. Slept in your winter coat? Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I just slept in my coat like this. <laughs> yeah, look at all the snow you just tracked in. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Is it quite? I haven't looked outside. I haven't looked outside at all since last night. I think last night we got like three inches or so. Wow. Something like that. This is crazy. We are in downtown Portland on one of the main roads at 8.30 in the morning. And there is nobody out. Oh, 
we can go to the world's smallest park and see if it's got snow on it too. The world's smallest park. It's right there. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's right there. You just missed. Oh no. Tesla. Should we help? Do you need some help pushing? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we do. We got a small shovel, yeah. <laughs> All right, let me. Let me yeah, we can help here. you. Yeah. Yeah. Just pull out all this can. Okay, so we're gonna go help that Tesla that got stuck. We'll be back. <laughs> So tomorrow's Valentine's Day and I kind of forgot day. Brad mentioned that he had somewhere to be at 10 o'clock. So he didn't tell me, but um, we drove to a flower shop. So I'm assuming, and they have really nice flowers and plants. This is where we're at. So I'm assuming the surprise is flowers. Valentine's. Perfect. Oh, thank you. It's Saturday in Portland and it's only 10 a.m. Oh, it feels like it should be so much later. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Even though you're probably gonna see this a couple weeks later, but here's where we stayed last night. We stayed at this RV park because we got a crazy snowstorm here in Portland, and then an ice storm I think is rolling in today or started yesterday. I think it's called the Jansen Beach RV Park. We uh, called this place and the lady answered and offered to uh, let us stay here without charge because I think the storm is preventing a lot of people from coming through the area. So let's see what Shiloh's doing. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. We stayed at this RV park and they have Wi-Fi, but uh, it's not very strong. So we're trying to, it's Sunday, so we're trying to upload our video. Uh, I think it's what, seven? No, nope, it's already 8.30. Oh shoot. Uh, We're trying to upload our video and the Wi-Fi is not strong enough. So we have to pack up and go somewhere that has Wi-Fi. Yeah. To upload the video. Yeah, so we're trying to figure that out now and get situated, get, get organized and get on the road. Can you hear our whole van, our whole house rattle around? We're gonna see how well this thing's built by the end of this, this weekend. Got to get this off our solar panel. Alright, so we got most of our solar panel cleared off. That should give us a little bit of sun. We made it. After a stressful drive, we made it. It seems like the local people that live in the neighborhood right by this park decided to close down all the streets around the park and getting into the park so they can sled and snowboard in the middle of the street. So we just went around the sign. We even got pizza to make in our oven, which is going to be like our Valentine's Day dinner. But we have the wrong fitting or whatever for it. I don't know. Brad knows the specifics. All I know is I didn't get pizza. And I just smushed the chips. The pigtail that we got is not the right thread size so for the regulator. This little fitting came on the regulator. So basically we just need... You can barely see, but this one 
is just slightly thicker and so this one just doesn't quite fit that. It just slides right in with no threads. And tacos. We're having car oh, no yeah. barbacoa. barbacoa. We're having barbacoa tacos. That's true. So if you can't have pizza, you gotta do barbacoa tacos. It's gonna be very, very good. Last weekend, I had our camera on tripod and <clears throat> we were taking a bunch of footage and I set the tripod down thinking that it was nice and sturdy and got in the van, which we'll show you right here. So as you can see in that video, that uh, as soon as I set it down, apparently I didn't set it on stable ground or I don't know what happened, but basically, basically I dropped the camera from like six foot, a six foot height. And now the, uh, now the autofocus doesn't work and the manual focus doesn't work. And sometimes it doesn't even want to, uh, doesn't even want to take a picture or a video. It keeps saying, take out the battery and replace the battery. So, Do you guys think it's cold here? Slide it right off the right off the little piece of grass. I'll show you guys where we stayed for Valentine's Day. We had an ice storm last night. So all the snow is very crunchy and icy. Got little icicles. And of course, one of our chains broke. Brad's looking at it right now. There might be something to fix it. Uh, this is check that thing in the back. I think I gotta take the chains off to fix them. I think one of our links broke, and so there's one that's just slapping, slapping the wheel well. So it's a very muddy mess in this parking lot. It's like eight inches of pure mud slush. It's Look disgusting. At that. Yeah. So I don't really want to do it here. We're in a Shell gas station parking lot. Look, everyone's stuck. They're stuck. That car over there is stuck. I think that car is stuck. <laughs> this is crazy. So we got 19 minutes of driving and we've only been driving three minutes. We got propane. Finally got our propane installed. Finally, finally, finally found the adapter. It's so nice. It's like everything's finally coming together. Oh, I know. <laughs> 